क्वेश्चन टू ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज राइट अ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट होज वन मेंबर इज सिक्स फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन सो लेट्स फर्स्ट डिस्कस वॉट दिस टर्म पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट वॉट दिस मीन्स अ पाइथागोरियन ट्रिपलेट इज एनी ट्रिपलेट ऑफ नंबर्स ए बी एंड सी which satisfies the pythagoras theorem which means that the sum of the squares of two of those numbers say a square plus b square is equal to the square of the third number c square so for example if you take the triplet of numbers 3 4 and 5 this is a pythagorean triplet because 3 square plus 4 square is equal to 5 square now in this question we have to find in each part a pythagorean triplet of which the given number is a member for example in the first part we are given this number 6 so we have to find a pythagorean triplet of which 6 is a member to do this we will use a result from the ncert main text before this exercise which says that for any integer m greater than equal to 1 if you take the triplet of numbers 2m m square minus 1 and m square plus 1 if you take these three numbers they will surely form a pythagorean triplet because 2m square plus the square of m square minus 1 will be equal to the square of m square plus 1 so this is the result we are going to use for this question let's apply this result now in each case for each part we will check whether the given number could be equal to one of these expressions 2m m square minus 1 or m square plus 1 for some integer value of m that will help us find m and hence all the three members of the triplet let's see how to do this starting with the first part in the first part we have the number 6 so what we have to determine is that 6 could be equal to which of these three expressions in m 2m m square minus 1 or m square plus 1 so let's check each expression so if 6 is equal to 2m so we'll check all the three cases if 6 equal to 2m if 6 equal to m square minus 1 or if 6 is equal to m square plus 1 so if 6 is equal to 2m then we get m is equal to 6 by 2 or 3 and this is an integer value in m integer value for m if 6 is equal to m square minus 1 then m square is equal to 7 and this does not give us integers value values of m and if 6 equal to m square plus 1 then m square equal to 5 and this also does not give us integer values for m so the only valid value of m in this case is m equal to 3 and for m equal to 3 the three members of the pythagorean triplet will be 2m which is 6 m square minus 1 which is 3 square minus 1 Uh, 9 minus 1 or 8 and m square plus 1 which is 3 square plus 1 or 10 so the three members of the pythagorean triplet in this case will be 6 8 and 10 so this is the answer for uh, part 1 6 is a member of this pythagorean triplet 6 8 and 10 now in parts 2 3 and 4 we have to do the same thing for each part we have to check whether the given number is equal to which of these expressions 2m m square minus 1 or m square plus 1 for some integer value of m and because all of these three numbers are even 14 16 and 18 all of them are even uh, we can see that equating these numbers with 2m will give us integer values for m so we don't need to uh, check the equality with all the three expressions we can just take each of these numbers equal to 2m so part 2 part 3 part 4 in each case we will take the given number equal to 2m so if we take 14 equal to 2m this gives us m equal to 7 and hence the pythagorean triplet is 2m which is 14 m square minus 1 which is uh, 7 square minus 1 or 49 minus 1 or 48 and then m square plus 1 which is 49 plus 1 or 50 so for part 2 the answer is 14 48 and 50 is the required pythagorean triplet of which 14 is a member then in part 3 we have 16 equal to 2m 
and this gives us the integer value of m equal to 8 and hence the Pythagorean triplet is 2m which is 16 m square minus 1 which is 8 square minus 1 64 minus 1 or 63 and m square plus 1 which is 64 plus 1 or 65 so in this case the Pythagorean triplet is 16 63 and 65 and 16 is a member of this Pythagorean triplet and finally for part 4 we have 18 is equal to 2m so this gives us the integer value m equal to 9 and hence the Pythagorean triplet is 2m which is 18 m square minus 1 9 square minus 1 which is 80 and then m square plus 1 which is 9 square plus 1 or 82 so the Pythagorean triplet that we obtain in part 4 is 18 80 and 82 and 18 is a member of this Pythagorean triplet so this completes question number 2 to learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams explore QMath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.